Hello children, let me welcome you to the virtual class of the Brihan Mumbai Mahanagar Palika. My name is Shraddha teacher. Children, we are in the middle of this COVID-19 pandemic and because of that we are not able to go to school but that doesn't mean we are going to stop learning. So we are going to do many lessons which are very interesting from your textbook through the virtual class here. So let us do a lesson in English today. So children, let us start with a new lesson in standard 4th English and the name of the lesson children for today is lesson number 3 from your English textbooks that is recess. Now whenever I say recess we have many joyful things that come back to us isn't it and the most important thing is the picture that you see over here where the uncle or the peon auntie in our school they ring the school bell and then we rush out of our classes to enjoy our tiffin to have our midday meals to go to the uh, garden if there is one in your school to meet friends from your other class and to meet your brothers and sisters if they are in the same school etc so we are a part or the recess is a very very important part of our life in school now children during our day every day we do so many different things and we spend our time or our day at so many different places so come on let's take a look so the major part of our day is spent at home all right so we get up in the morning, we are at home, we have our breakfast, we have our bath, okay, we prepare to go to school. So all these things we do at home. At home, we spend time with our parents, with our brothers, with our sisters, with our cousins sometimes and yes, also of course with our grandparents. So the Home is a place where we feel safe, where we feel secure and where there are a lot of people to love us. We also sometimes go to the garden and to the park in the evening. Okay. And we play a lot of games over there. See. So we are happy when we are at home. We are happy when we are in the garden also. See all of their faces. Why? Because they are enjoying themselves. One child is sitting and reading. The other one is playing on the swing, one is playing on the seesaw, one of them is riding a bicycle, one of the children is flying a kite and also you can take your pet dog outside and enjoy yourself in the park. And we are happy when we are in the park. Why? Because we get to meet all our friends. Okay. But the place which is as good as home, as good as garden for us is our school we are happiest when we are in our school isn't it because in our school we get to study also we get to play also and there are teachers there are our sirs who love us like our parents love us okay and we also get to do a lot of things in school so at school we meet our principal at school we meet our teachers and of course, at school we meet a lot of our friends. So, we are happiest when we are in our school. Now, due to this COVID crisis, we are not able to go to school. Okay, but we are all missing our schools very much. I am a teacher. I am missing my school. And you are all children. You are also missing your school. So let us pray to God that we will get an opportunity to go back to our schools very, very soon. Okay. So now children, let us learn something about the school and let us learn about the various things that we do in our school. Okay. Now as soon as you go to your school in the morning, you do various activities in the school. You have your teacher teaching you, isn't it? You sit with your friends and you listen to your teacher. Sometimes you have certain questions to ask to your teacher. You ask questions also to your teacher and your teacher clears your doubts also. Alright. 
and then you will see that in school we also have a lot of fun isn't it on a day when your teacher is not there i'm sure all of you you have a lot of fun you enjoy you make noise you don't listen to your monitor isn't it i'm not uh, i'm telling the true, uh, right thing isn't it many of us we go to school to study of course we always study but along with a little bit of studying we also tend to do a little bit of masti also tend to do a little bit of fun also and then there are other times in school when we get very very serious that is when we have our exams during exam time you will see all of them quietly sitting and writing their exams there will be no fun no masti okay so there are various uh, memories that we have of our school there are various things that we do in our school now the school uh, day or the time table of the school is divided into different different parts isn't it children for example you have the school assembly in the mornings as soon as you go to school whether it is morning whether it is afternoon you have your school assembly now in the school assembly sometimes you get a chance to sing okay sing uh, songs sing uh, you can say hymns okay we also say our prayers in the school assembly all of us when we go to school in the morning we say our prayers we say jana ganamana isn't it we say the oath india is my country all these things we do when we go to school then sometimes if there is an important announcement then your uh, teacher or your principal madam or your principal sir will always give you certain instructions okay in the assembly so the very first activity that happens when you go to school is the morning assembly in the school and then you have your sports time in school okay a certain part of the day in the school is reserved for playing so you play on the ground and you have fun you run around you get tired etc see here see how they are playing a match this match is called as a tug of war many of us play many of us just like to sit and watch others so these are all the things children that we go to school and we do now there is a very very important part of school where we sit and have our tiffins our mummy packs lunch for us sometimes isn't it our mummy gives us few nice nice uh, snacks in our tiffin and we love to have this tiffin in school can you have tiffin in school any time no there is a fixed time for that isn't it and sometimes in some schools we have the khau wali aunty who comes and she gives us food she serves us food isn't it the khau or the midday meal that we call it so what is this time of the school day called where we eat our tiffins where we eat khau so what time of the day is this this is the time of the day when you hear this particular sound and what is the sound as soon as you hear this sound what happens all of us jump with joy why because now is our recess time so the recess that we get in our school is a very very important part of our day in school so in our textbook children we have lesson number 3 which is a beautiful poem about the recess in our school so let us all now try to read the poem together so if you have your textbooks with you you can open it and as i read the poem you can read the poem loudly or silently as you wish to okay now whenever you are sitting to watch a video of a particular lesson always open that textbook and keep it in front of you so when i tell you that okay children today we are going to learn this lesson from the textbook you can open that page and you can come to that particular lesson okay so come on let us start and let us read the beautiful poem in your textbook i am going to put tick marks on the lines where i am reading so you know where i am reading and you can also read along with me okay 
the world. Come on, let us start. Girls and boys make lots of noise and run and jump and laugh and shout. While here and there, with quiet air, groups of children walk about. I will explain the poem using different, different pictures very soon. First, let us just read the poem. A game begins, but no one wins. Although they play with might and main, for long before the game is over, the school, the bell rings out for school again. Okay, so this was our poem for you. It's a very small two stanza poem. Okay. Once again, let me read the poem for you. Then we will go back and we will read each line along with the pictures. Come on, let me start once again. Girls and boys make lots of noise and run and jump and laugh and shout. While here and there, with quiet air, groups of children Walk about, a game begins, but no one wins, although they play with might and main, for long before the game is over, the bell rings out for school again. So children, this was the poem. Now let us look at each of these lines with some beautiful pictures to help us understand. So girls and boys make lots of noise. Can you see? When the teacher is not there in the class or when the teacher is just gone out and the other teacher is about to come in. Some girls and boys, not you, okay? You are all good children. But some girls and boys, they make lots of noise and they run and they jump inside the classrooms only okay they run and jump and laugh see they enjoy okay they run they jump they laugh all this where are they doing they are doing it either when the teacher is not there in the class or during recess so during recess we do all these things what all things do we do we make a lot of noise because there is no teacher in the class we run we jump Okay, and laugh and also shout. See how they're shouting? And they shout also while here and there with quiet air. But some children, they are very silent. They're very quiet even during the recess time. Okay, so while here and there with quiet air, groups of children walk about. Some children, they just walk around in a group without making any noise, even during the recess. A game begins. See, but some others are making a lot of noise, okay? Only some of the children are silent. A game begins, but no one wins. Although they play with might and main, they are playing with a lot of josh, with a lot of energy. But then they are not able to win. What is the reason? But long before the game is over, okay, they are playing the game and they are playing and they want to finish the game. But what happens? Before the game is over, you again hear this sound. And what sound it is? It is the sound of recess getting over. So that was such a beautiful time in your school timetable and suddenly it gets over. Okay, so now there are some questions along with this lesson. Let us look at them quickly. Answer the following questions. During the recess, what do the children in this poem do? What do they do children during the recess? The children in the poem jump, they laugh. They make noise and they play games during the recess. Okay, 
Look at the next question here. Why does no one win? Why is it that they do not win? That is because they do not get time to win. And why do they not get time to win? Because the recess ends too soon. Alright children. So children, after seeing the few questions that we had, now let us look, take a look at the remaining exercises that we have in this lesson. So let us take a look at the meanings which are there in this lesson. So the first meaning is the meaning of the word recess. So the name of the lesson itself is recess and we have talked so much about school and about recess now that we know that what is recess? It is nothing but a break between school classes. Okay, as soon as you go to school, you have around three or four periods where your teachers teach you and then you might want to go to the toilet, you might feel hungry. So for all that, we have the small break between the school classes, which is called as a recess. Now it also depends on the number of hours that you spend in school, children. In some schools, they have two recess also. If children go to school in the morning at 8.30 and they go home at 4 o'clock in the evening, so that is a long time. So the school gives them two breaks or two recesses. Where? We do whatever we want to do. So see these two children, they are having their tiffin, they are having their lunch when they are in school in the recess. The second meaning that we are going to look at is with quiet air. With quiet air means someone who looks very quiet. So some of all, some of us, we are very active. We are very noisy, we are very talkative, we talk to others, we laugh. Whereas some others, they are a little quiet. They don't like talking too much to people. They don't like running around, they don't like making noise. So they are sometimes seen walking around with a quiet air. Okay, here there has got nothing to do with air. But quiet air means the quiet look. Coming to the third one, with might and main means with all their strength so whenever we get time and we need to play we get a chance to play in the recess what do we do we use all our strength and all our might to play so suppose you're playing a game of tug of war see have you seen people playing this game this game is called as the game of tug of war so in this game you have to put in all your strength if you want to defeat your opponent can you see here look at their faces and now think after immediately after the recess is over they will go to their classes with all the sweat on their body okay so this is called as using all your strength when you say with might and main it means you're using all your strength coming to the last one over over means over or finish now sometimes children when poetry is written when people write poems they can make certain changes in the words it will not be considered as a mistake okay for example the poet instead of writing o v e r he is written o and e r but the meaning is over but if you write o e r for over in the exam paper your teacher might give you a wrong Alright, so these things are allowed for poets. So these are the meanings that we have in the textbook. Let us move on and let us look at the next exercise. So what name or names are used for recess in your school? So I think in most of the schools for recess, we say recess only. Alright, but in a different country or in a different place, they might use a different name. So come on, let's see what other names can be used for this word recess. So you could say lunch break. Alright, for recess you could say lunch break. Now if you go to an office, they also have coffee breaks where they can uh, stop their work for some time and go and drink coffee. But we cannot do that, we are in school. So we take lunch breaks. You could also say time off. In some places for recess, they also say time 
of then the word rest time is also used for recess in some parts of the world finally we also say interval and intermission now these two words interval and intermission are used mostly for movies when you go to watch a movie you have an interval or you have an intermission okay so you can also use these words instead of the word recess why because recess means what it simply means a break with from whatever you are doing so you are studying 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 and then you have a break and that break can be called as recess time off rest time interval or even intermission now let us come to the last part of this beautiful lesson so how do you spend your recess describe in two to three lines so i cannot say how you spend your recess but we can also take a general look at how children might be spending their recess so a child might spend his recess eating so his mummy must have given him dabba tiffin okay so he might spend his entire recess eating what he has bought in his tiffin of course he might also read so you can see a book there so he might also read a story book or something when he is eating another child might just finish eating fast and go out and meet all his or her friends and have a good time talking to them okay another child could do this a third child could finish eating his tiffin and simply go out and play in the compound in the school or there are some children who study during the recess also there are some children who are very intelligent who get very good marks who are very studious so what they will do they do not want to study they do not want to meet their friends they simply want to study during the recess all right but we should not do too much of studying also we should not do too much of playing also so you should do something which is balanced you should study a little you should play a little all right so this was what the lesson or the poem recess wanted to tell us how you should study how you should balance by playing by enjoying also during the break that you get now children after you finish seeing this video i have a few small tasks for you which i will be telling you what it is very soon so children now you have watched the video so after you watch the video now you will have to complete a few simple tasks now you might have watched the video on your computers or your laptops or your mobile phones now after you watch the video what will you do you will please go to the description box which is given below the video so what is the description box see the description box looks like this all right and after you go to the description box you will see that there are a few questions there now what are these questions about these questions are about the lesson that we just learned or the video that you just watched so what will you do you will think back properly about the lesson and you will try and answer these questions and note down the answers in your notebook if you want okay after that we have another task waiting you will also click on the link which you will find in the description box to fill up the google form so now what is the google form children it is nothing but a simple form there are a few simple questions there about the video which you just saw and also about yourself so these are the tasks now that you will have to complete after you watch each video so children wasn't that a very interesting lesson i'm sure you learned a lot of new things in this lesson if you have liked this video please hit the like button and also subscribe to my video so that you will get to see all the videos which i keep posting regularly